Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name's Steph, and today we're going to make sp spud nuts. Spud nuts, potato, no, yeah. Donuts made with potatoes, spud nuts, I don't know. Come on, let's do it. So first I'm going to wash, peel, chop, boil, and just make these into some mashed potatoes so that we can put it into our batter. So, While the mashed potatoes are cooking, I'm going to combine some water and some yeast in the bowl of my stand mixer just to let them sit and get frothy. After that's done, we're going to combine everything to start making the dough. Now the recipe that I was using had horrible instructions, so it has me doing a lot of unnecessary mixing and changing of bowls that you can see here. But eventually we get it together and all of the stuff gets into the dough, into the stand mixer, and we slowly add our flour to give us a real dough. When the dough is finished, it'll look like this. A really soft dough that is slightly sticky to the touch. After that, I'm just going to take my dough and put it into a greased bowl covered in saran and with a damp tea towel to let it proof for one and a half hours. Before, it looked like this. And then after, it looked like this. So this is my dough after one and a half hours of proofing. I punched it down and laid it out onto a heavily floured surface and used a heavily floured rolling pin just to make it out into a half inch thick piece of dough. Now next time I think I'll leave it a little bit thicker as I didn't, I would have liked my donuts to be a little bit thicker in the end. Using two round cutouts, I cut out my spud nuts and spud holes and place them onto some pre-cut parchment squares. This makes it easier for when frying that you can just drop the squares right in. I place those onto a pan and let them rise for another 45 minutes. While the spud nuts were proofing for the second time, I heated my fry oil to 350 degrees Fahrenheit, and once they were done proofing, I fried them on both sides until they were golden brown. After they came out of the fryer, I immediately tossed them in sugar or a brown butter glaze that I made to coat. These spud nuts came out delicious and it was a great adventure in trying something new as apart from the regular donut. They were a little bit more dense and a little bit more of a potato flavor, but not much. And I think they were really good. It was fun to try and I really enjoyed the whole process. So even though it took me five hours, I definitely recommend if that's something you wanna do or just watch me make these funny, crazy baking things. So yeah. I hope you enjoyed this video and if you learned anything or had fun watching, make sure to leave me a thumbs up or a comment below and join me next week as I make corn brulee. Yes, that's right. Corn brulee and corn had a baby and made corn brulee. I'm going to show you how to make it next week. See you then.